Yeah, man, say all praises and honor to your how, or show me how we shy, or show me how we crash. And the blood has the apostles and elders of great men's stone. Shalom um, to all our brothers and mother, push us through in all sincerity and in all honesty. You know, this is a brother from James Jamaica Cam, Yashamai. You know, and this evening I'm going to do um, a video on um, you know, rest, you know, which basically, um, we are going to basically uh, receive in the, in the kingdom, in the kingdom to come, you know, very soon. You know, because, you know, we've been living in this society for so long, you know, and our Isa, Edom rulership, you know, been oppressed, you know, from the time of four parents got brought over this side of the world, I hope I was scatter, um, throughout the folk on the earth for so long. I know we live in the time when the Lord is out shy, you know, the man who people ignorant called Jesus, gonna give, finally give us rest here, you know, rest of all this bullshit who basically um, we've been going through for so long. All right, this is Isaiah um, 14 and verse 3 says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, from all his sorrows, you know, all the things will basically been going through, you know, go back to the curse, uh, written at Deuteronomy, um, um, 28, I um, believe, um, verse, um, 65, uh, this is the curse, so part of the curse that Heavenly Father, um, put upon us, so-called niggas, um, Latinos and Native American Indian, Deuteronomy 28 and 65, say, and among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling, trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. So constantly in this society we've been, you know, going through all different type of hell, you know. All different type of sorrow we've been, we've been going through. Even, even from amongst even our own people, you know. Even at the job, you know, you have Jake, you know, oppressing us, you know. You see, but very soon, you know, all these things, you know, are going to come to an end, you know. All these things very, very soon, you know, because, you know, we're not at that time. Yeah, back to Isaiah um, um, 14 and 3 again, and it and shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thine hard bandage wherein thou um, was made to serve. Because with this basically go through all these things, you know, you know reach your inner our punishment right now. Lord, you always shall basically uh, remove, you know, all these curses from off of us, you know, because you go back to the curse too. You know, we go through, you know, we reach for the, the, the final, you know, or the last, you know, all of this madness will be a you know, suffering for so long, right? So that's the reason why, you know, we in this truth now, you know, we have to basically push this truth to the best of the ability of your how and bash me how shall give us here because, hey, there's nothing here for us here. But some stress and problem continually, you know, in this society. All right, it's a Hebrews. Hebrews um, 4 and verse 9 said, There remain it, therefore, a rest to the people of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh shy. For he that is entered into his rest, he also had ceased from his own works, as Yahweh shy did from his. You know, because you know, going back 2000 years ago, you know, Yahweh shy you know, says it's finished. You, know. you see, the female basically um, um, work, our film job basically finished. You know. So now we in this truth now. You know, living in this time, you know, we want to finish, you know, our work also. You see, because people say, oh, the better is the end of a thing than the beginning. So, it makes sense to start this truth and fill out, you know. Uh, people say, all our righteousness are basically be forgotten. You know, but we open prayer to your house, Hashem, you know, you know, we finish this work, you know. You see, we open prayer part of the elect, because you're all about the elect anyway. So, this is so, 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 how the scripture says, right? Um, Hebrews 4 and 9 again. That you remain it therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh, for he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as Yahweh shy did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. And you know, all over the years, you know, we've been seeing, you know, a lot of men fall to the truth, you know, and gone, gone back out into the world, you know, gone, you know, live, live them really life. You know, as people say, it better anybody know. You see, because um, your judgment that got even worse than uh, even the, re the regular, regular jet. But basically, um, out there and you know, care about this truth. Right? And it's Baruch 4, and verse um, 25. See, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen. Your captivity, so all these nations see now don't fall, you know, all them benefit of how don't fall, you know, one way or the other. 
You see, people say, what nation have not got enough of our spoil? You know, I get enough of our kingdom because all them have our now don't fall. They believe, believe that for us. So, them seeing our captivity, you know, they see now don't fall. You know, I rejoice over us according to the scripture. Alright, it's a Revelation 11 and verse 10 say, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, rejoice over who? Rejoice over our people. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, all these nations, you know. So called white man, especially. So called Chinese, so called Japanese, so called Arab, so called African, all these nations rejoice over us, yo. And may marry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them going back to uh, during the time of uh, you know King David to Solomon and you know, we have all these nations and tributary unto us. So now we them get the chance, you know, to oppress us. They're glad for basically oppress us, yo. That that dwell on the earth. So these nations glad for oppress us. But now when I turn now, they're gonna see. Um, our deliverance, them see our destruction, our don't for and rejoice of us. We live in a time when they're gonna see our deliverance. So, this is what the scriptures are right here. Um, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so sh show shall they see shortly your salvation from Yahweh. We shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of everlasting. Verse 25 says, My my, child, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you. So we're supposed to suffer patiently. You know, all the things we've been going through, you know, we're supposed to basically you know, um, suffer it patiently. Yeah. The wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, for thine enemy had persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. Very soon we're going to see the so-called white man destruction, you yeah. And shall tread upon his neck. So we're going to tread upon his neck, you yeah. You know, very soon. So I say, ah, wait thee upon me until the day. When the Lord, how about Shemir Shai rise up unto the prayer? Because the determination is to gather all the nation so he can assemble the kingdom and pour upon them um, his righteous um, indignation. All right, so Isaiah 60 and verse. Verse 14. All right. The sons also of them that afflict thee, this is a tab of the kingdom, the kingdom to come, right? The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the sole of thy, of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord. City of your house, Bashim and Shai, right? How do you see us? You know, as um nothing right now in the society. These Eden nations don't see us as nothing. Especially so called niggas. They look down upon us as nothing worse. You know, on the earth right now. But guess what? In that time, my Lord, how about Shimmer Shai? Now fix that, you. The city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Where as thou has been forsaken and hated. So that no man went through thee, I will make thee an, it's like an eternal, excellent, a joy of many generations. So you don't say how about Shema Shema Miko? An eternal um, joy of many generations. Because after this, you know, we're not going to be a scully. Uh, go back and down low again. You know, we're going to be a scully rule the earth forever and ever. We receive all the curses. I do to him 28 um, from the 15 verse. Um, right down to the 60th verse. Now we are going to receive the blessings. And part of the blessings, people say, puts us above all nations. You know, that we basically depend on the face of the earth. So, so over time, we basically rule, you know, is next year. You know, we, we, in the last minute or last second, I saw Edom kingdom. Right? It's a revelation 21 and verse 4 say, And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. So all these things that we have got through for so long, you see, we reach a time now, we have the time now, when the Lord, how about Shemir Shai going to be able to remove all these things, yo. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, and he, and he that sat 
upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And the word new basically go back to the, um, the Greek word um, kainos. You know, basically mean um, um, refresh you. Lord, I basically refresh everything. You know, because everything right now, out, out, super the whole hurt is out of course. So even if I'm going to fix back here, fix back things here the right way and proper way. Because he's going to destroy the planet here. And he, and he said unto, unto me, write for these words are true are true and faithful. I will believe that you. You know, through the spirit and power you have me shy, you know. You know, basically patiently waiting. You know, and deliverance, you know, from this wicked society. You know, we see the prophecies then. Um, speeding up now. So, you know, say very soon, you know, we're going to leave um, this wicked society. You know, before we close and bring out um, Micah. Micah 2 and verse... And 10. And it's a Micah 2 verse 10 say, Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. We live now in a polluted society. You know, nothing but corruption in this society. And I saw you know. And it shall destroy you. So they follow this way of life continually. It's how the scriptures say going to happen. It shall destroy you even, destroy you even with a sore destruction. So now we need time, you know, with our deliverance, you know, it's a ton. So we have to do all we have to do is continue to be basically and push this truth, you know, and pray to your boss, you know, give us all the strength, you know, and the faith, because we have the hardest part, you know, if we go through, which are the time, the time of Jacob's trouble, the war of temptation of the scriptures, people, you know, so with that, may I say all praises and honor to your house, boss, you know, boss, you know, you know, and Dublin has the pastors and elders of Great Millstone, shalom to all our brothers and out there, I push this truth, you know, continue to push this truth, because, you know, pretty soon we are going to leave this wicked society, shalom.